Ghana is the world's second largest cocoa producing country. Ghanaian cocoa exports account for some 20% of the global market, and until the recent discovery of oil and the growth of other export sectors, cocoa has been the mainstay of Ghana's economy for almost a century. While cocoa sales are crucial to the national economy, the production of cocoa is largely an informal activity, with most production taking place on small, family-run farms. There are no cocoa plantations, but rather production is carried out by more than 700,000 individual small-scale farmers, each of whom cultivate plots of no more than two to three hectares in size. As in many African countries, researchers and policymakers are increasingly aware of the need to incorporate gender issues into agricultural development programs. Gender often enters into discussions about agriculture, either through distinctions between male and female-headed households or through distinctions between men's and women's crops. Men are often viewed as being responsible for producing cash crops, while women are responsible for producing subsistence crops for home consumption. Although estimates suggest that women carry out as much as 70% of all smallholder agricultural work in sub-Saharan Africa, cocoa production is a cash crop and its revenues are largely controlled by male heads of households. However, while cocoa farming is largely the domain of men, women are very much involved in its cultivation, even though their labor is often undervalued and in some cases unrecognized. In Ghana, 22% of female-headed households grow cocoa and 18% of female landholders have cocoa farms. In recent years, ethical consumption and production initiatives implemented under the Fair Trade umbrella have become increasingly significant in the export and marketing of agricultural products in sub-Saharan Africa. And this has also been the case with cocoa production in Ghana. Fair trade has been instrumental in empowering many Ghanaian cocoa farmers who are vulnerable to price fluctuations and the social and environmental problems exacerbated by conventional global markets. However, Recent critiques have raised important questions about fair trade certification, about its impacts, and who it benefits in cocoa producing communities. In July 2015, we undertook detailed research in two cocoa producing regions in Ghana to explore the impact of fair trade cocoa production on the lives of women. As part of this process, a range of participatory research methods were adopted which allowed women to express their different positions on the role of women in fair trade organizations and the obstacles they faced in being included in fair trade value chains. The main method of data collection and dissemination, participatory video, enabled the women involved in the research to use simple handheld video cameras to document their experiences of cocoa farming and to engage with other key stakeholders who had specialist knowledge about the fair trade cocoa production system. What I want to do is to show you how to use the camera. So, yes, the first thing you do is, is you have your camera open. Yes, the button to turn the camera on is found here. So this is the first thing we do. Push the button to turn the camera on. Yeah? Yes. Okay, good. Now, the trick is to hold, you've got, you're holding the camera the right way. The trick is to, keep, to try and keep the camera straight. And what you see inside the screen is what you will see in the film itself. Okay? Yes. So, <laughs> if you want to record something, this is the button to record. So try some, try, try, you're filming me. <laughs> try, filming. <laughs> try filming something, yeah. This is the speaker in the front, it's picking up all the sound. So, when you're actually doing the filming, you have to, you have to be careful of the sounds in the background. I'm showing him by. 
Yeah, me didn't send me aunt to me you cry any me you cook quite juma. Me no me cry no waha. Me no me cry no you cook quite juma. I say do you say cook quite time now? Me be. Me so me imagine say stand at here dia cook quite. Me so me pay be aye. As I say be important me de be aye. I ma cook me say me na na no be wija aye be. I'm born ma me a man na ma me no so ma me say ni say me me na you me so ya. I wish you answer answer as ni be da me me na me ye. To me bye. I be say I say minister. I am a father. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. I am the one who is going to take care of him. Tumi omo dunu dunu na me kuto na me zise gumsa, eh? Me de kwa kugua boye, me boya. Kwa kwa na me kwa kwa boye nusu. Me boya, na masai me boya nusu, ame chua kwa nusu ane nusu, me kuwa me kule ni na kusku, no chale ba. Na me yada ni me tumi ya sasa jumei, eh? Na me boya, me boya nusu ame mama boya ni me kwa nusu me minyo biya, eti kama ni abo boya ba kumbia. Nakami ame boya, nakami chuo na me de kwa. Nak mende kau ayat, nak kami kau share suara masa bu bawa ya nak kami de kau nak kami kau bagai kira. Yang ni fair trade for ene ya guma. Neni ame hari ibu nese ya ame ini asasia ya doso edi ya guma. Ya bapa nom ni anak nom enu muda yang keting ketibi. Enu aichi nong jis ya di bema cisa neni ni ya guma. Eku aichi nasa nong cakap krebi amai. Enu pawai di mana dia akan sese miwia. Na mafa, enti ba mani nyangu ya, idu ba biswa, yenyi nyabi wewe kuranswa, siki adi ba yangu juma, edi, isana sawo di bi ama wodi nti, onge nani yuko krebi, enti jisa wa wa hundi. Asasi ya, idi ba yeye jume di yenu kurano, edi, muche nema hudu bibri, afiso, yenyi asasi noka kraya, yeku mmoso di ma ya idi yeye juma nusu, yenyi mwebi ya, yangu hundi, ewo form. Uinya mwebi ya ya ube tumi de aye ejuma no inti ama yangu chile yapa uiskasi mema mema no mwaye saa kwa nisho inti yese yangu sio tumi ya sika ni adi di saa ejuma no ama yangu sio mwaye ama yuko kuno itumi etumpong afisa sio yeye hiyo yeye mwe inti na ma yangu kwa la suku ya kura edene inti mi yangu kwa la no mema no sio bibu o obua ni yeri mu semi yenu mienza. Enya dia nensabe sun unku unu maso inti gise uwa ba na uso ubo mwadini. Ena no pe misori insi okura amedi eman kura yedi anom edi ne mami. Misori ye miko bifi ye su popo ni nina yucha. Miko bifi ye mekwa sirawa ya mwa minsi ye kakra. Midi ye duyane man kule yi. Misori ba ye no ome insa anajo. Nama se yucha kwa isa kwa ye kwa mchua kwa insini nye drama ye pa. E kwa mchua ye medo fe mabre obabre wade na miti maye. Afezo so, ya bae fuwa mwa, ni yeko fia, ya kwa kwa ya juma be dure, ene wohono, mwoso ano pa, ube jale mkola, ube pra, ube hulungukuyo, ube kwa unsuyo, sana wa ya biyane ama mkola, ana ube kwa uskuyo no. Ya, ya nya kwa kwa, suna ya beda kwa, ene kwa boba ya tena nasa ilemi, ya kwa da kakrebi, nwa sari, nwa no pa, boba ya nwa miyese, sa ususore, nwa beya wadi, nwa nwa di, nwa nwa nkura ni di, na ukura ni kusku, ansa na wosua nua ukure du yani de akoma nua fu, ama yemani ni ahume dia kura ni diko kwa nugu fama uba na ba bwani ni na nua chiegu ya boye ho ni akobo koko ni kutasi kani bi yabo wia ni yemani ya swa yadi abegu a paso na wadi na wia kikrake swa chakura ni nyabi nche ni yadi yadi na wia na swa ni ahata koko koko na uwe wia no na ba yemana sasa koko o koko liba. On me kanti lo se mi nyase, uko bisa na kula nane buwe fu. E tu wii yanti mo, wii yanta ale oma, se si yata ale kule diko fu. Wa sa abe tuwa be mani wwe fu. Asa ane na ba abe ye juma. E juma anu mu ye wii anu mu kofia. Koko ono kura ba. Be mani onpeso oba mo uska na. E ba buwa be meni nati koko yi. Koko be bre, bi a ba agi du kura na. No anu wa mu mo hate wye si apa o se. E ni aye kwa keli koko ono. Intu wa mu kwa, oba e bi a. Bagi mielu si kano da baya konta chelo. Ansana beti mido huwa shesta ya jume diye ni muno. Chesta ukuta asasi. 
Sign said you made any in Ia Sassi Sam. A sign say any Sika, a di Toby and T. But I hear you, my baby, sign said Oba was said the only set was a rear, Ubesi, if ye, O Mabeco school, and Colana di Diem, you made ye be a dinner with ye be a ya or bar, would you made ye? I fear ye, we are. Who require for my winter maintenance? As I saw Pedro and you obey the another commano. What do you do and in our corner? Se as you call near by ourselves, where Fidia Fidia do or cry, who cry, won't me, and so a sign say any sicker. Yet the better painty, a Fidia Nessieti, and Tima, a Maya Titi Bebre, Yakuna Mani Bebre, a walk I am. My name is Monica Edridazi. Gender Officer of Kiapa Koko Farmers Union. The program started in 1998 with the objective of empowering women to take up leadership roles. All the challenges that the women are having boils down to money. Because if the woman needs to even attend meetings, they will have to travel from their villages to where the meeting is being organized, the district or the head office, and they will have to get money for the transport. Though when they come, they are paid their transport allowance, but first they have to get the money to come. When they are coming, they have to leave their children with somebody to take care of. And so if you are not really financially sound, you cannot take up any leadership role. We have a lot of women who are working with their husbands, and we invite them for training. Their husband doesn't allow them to come to these meetings because they rely solely on their husbands. All the women groups that we have, the active ones are women who are, uh, most of them are on their own. We've trained them, they have their skills, but they need initial capital to start something on their own so that they can even do the land arrangements, do a busan and a busan. You need to pay initial amounts before you could be given the land to farm on. One of the recurring themes, important themes in fair trade, when we try to see measure impact, is to look at the angle of gender. Our women and men in fair trade organizations get equality in participating in fair trade in terms of the responsibility sharing and also sharing of the benefits. My observation is that a typical fair trade organization will have more men than women, and most, the women too, most of them come on the backs of their husbands. They're there because their husbands have into the fair trade, and because they work with their, their husbands, they're also in fair trade. And so often you will not see a fair trade organization with 500 men and 500 women, or equality in numbers, or equality in decision making, equality on the elected bodies and stuff like that. But these are not things that happen because of fair trade. It is because fair trade derives from an existing reality, a reality where the ownership of cocoa farms tend to be more male than female. Even though if you interrogate it further, you see that when it comes to working on the farms, the women may not may even be doing more than the men. And so fair trade can only attempt to address the, this imbalance from within gradually through proper application of the standards that encourages the participation of all genders. So I believe that fair trade's approach to gender must be to seek to understand what the dynamics, the micro dynamics of the communities involved are and engage the members themselves as to how we can bring out the changes we all desire. And we must also be patient to let things evolve instead of forcing things revolutionary, in a revolutionary manner. You do that, you get formal systems supplanted over informal arrangements, and it doesn't fit. You may get your formal reports, rating, number of meetings, number of days, all right but still will not be making any lasting impacts on the, on, the, on, the, on the ground. Although fair trade certification initiatives were not initially designed to address issues that concern gender inequality or the gender-specific concerns that women face in cocoa production, gender equity has now become one of the key principles of fair trade. 
Yet in the case of Ghana, our research suggests that gendered social norms and the gender division of labor in agriculture still limit women's ability to participate in and to benefit from fair trade. Women farmers in Ghana are confronted with significant challenges, particularly in terms of unequal access to cocoa cooperatives, gender-biased cultural barriers which constrain their farming activities, and the additional household burdens they must endure on top of farming activities. Within all communities, there is social differentiation and unequal power relationships. Consequently, there have been increasing calls for greater clarification of which producers are in fact benefiting from fair trade and why, as well as what positive change, if any, the fair trade movement is bringing to marginalized actors within farming communities.